Hello class, in this video we will learn about exception handling in SAP Web App. So as you know exception is a problem that arises during the execution of a program. So when an exception, exception occurs the normal flow of the program is disrupted and the program application terminates abnormally which is not recommended therefore these exceptions are to be handled. Like other programming languages we have try catch, block in uh, SAP Web App. We have also raise exception and we have also the keywords like you can see here raise, try, catch and clean up. So let's see what is the generic syntax of try catch. So this is try and catch uh, generic syntax in SAP above. We have a try block, catch block catch block we have exception then cleanup cleanup block is to restore persistent state and then we have end try so this is how try catch code will look in SAP above so let's talk about these keywords available in SAP try catch exceptions raise Exception are raised to indicate that some exceptional situation has occurred. Usually an exception handler tries to repair the error or to find an alternative solution. Try. The try block contains the application coding whose exception are to be handled. This statement block is processed sequentially. It can contain further control structure and cause a procedure or other bad programs. It is followed by one or more catch blockies. Catch. A program catches an exception with an exception handler at the place in a program where you want to handle the problem. The catch keyword indicates the catching of an exception. Cleanup. The statements of the cleanup block are executed whenever an exception occurs in a try block that is not caught by the handler of the same try and try construct. Within the cleanup block, the system can restore an object to a consistent state or release external resources that is cleanup work can be executed for the context of the try block. So these are the keywords which are being used in try catch exception handling in SAP web. Let's try some real time example with our SAP server. So let's check some good example here. So these are five attributes and method of exception. Text ID, previous, get underscore text, get underscore long text, get underscore source underscore position. So we will have some example here. Let's copy this and try in our system. This is a previous one. <clears throat> so we have one parameter or type integer and we have three data types. One is type P decimal two. This is referring to exception class CX underscore root. This is string type variable. The start of selection. We are getting input from user in this parameter. And we have taken its absolute condition. If number is greater than 150, there is exception. That demo ABS CX underscore demo underscore ABS underscore too large. The absolute number is too large. Then we have try catch code. We are taking a square root of the input number and writing down it there. Then we are dividing it by one and here is our exception so here is an exception code which will in case divided by zero so it will raise an exception of zero divide so let's try Error. Try my school to enter. Okay.
we have two dry cash block here so no errors now object is activated let's see the output it is asking for number let me give it a number 5 and execute it square root and division with 5 result of square root 2.24 result of division 0 0.20 let's try number greater than 150 so as we saw there exception is come cx underscore demo underscore abs underscore too large the exception was raised but it wasn't caught so this is how exceptions look in your program this is detail and it will also tell you about the line of code where exception occurs that is referring to line number 25 we have raised exception there if you click on it it will take you to the code so this was the exception which was raised so let's try another thing yes. if we just comment this block code which is raising exception then here we have divided by zero thing let's see here we are catching the exception and handing it so it will display us a message some kind of display yes the result of division 0 0.01 let's see so it is catching the exception here So let's do another thing here. So what this program is basically doing, it is taking input from user, which is a integer type. And in this variable, we are displaying the result of a square root. And here we are dividing that number with one. For example, if in input we will give zero, it will write this here zero and exception will raise here. In this variable, it will store the output message of the, uh, that exception. So let me write here that exception result so we can see what exception message is occurring. It can be visible to us. So if you divide by 0, 1 divided by 0, here is an exception message, division by 0. So this time program isn't terminated by itself and didn't give any kind of short dump and it has just displayed the error message and we have handled our exception very well. So this is how to do exception handling in SAP ABAB. Thank you for your feedback and patience.